Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying We Who Are About to Die. <clears throat> now, just so, so we're clear, this is not a blind Let's Try. Uh, I played this on stream a couple weeks back and I could not stop thinking about this game. It was just, I don't know, I fell in love with it kind of instantly. It's a really, really fun game. It's got a lot of depth to it. Um, it is a, it, it's still early access and it kind of shows that in certain places, but in a lot of places it feels very, very fleshed out and very complete and very polished. So, um, let's, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to roll through is, uh, <laughs> we are given a, a random kind of Spartan character. Um, they might not be Spartan, but, uh, you know, I'm, my history is very limited on this subject, I'm afraid. Thrill Seeker Civilian, challenge level four. You are a Hanian commoner who has been dying to enter the arena. Petty crime simply won't give you the adrenaline rush you need anymore. It is time to step it up. Uh, you must pay Scalo a service fee every week when possible, cost 500. So um, these are conditions and traits that are kind of different uh, every single time you play the game. Um, there are, uh, there is meta progression and it's the kind I don't like, but I don't really care because the game is like, uh, easy enough that you can, you can probably just like, it's, it's a big, whatever. It's not like, um, you know, this, it's not the kind of game where there's like a very prolonged run. There, it is not really an endurance run. You're not like running up against like a lot of insane challenges. Um, it's the kind of game you can play for like an hour or two. If your character dies, it doesn't really matter because you're mostly doing the same thing over and over again. That thing is very fun, but, um, you're still doing the same thing. And it, it's like, it really doesn't matter if your next hero is going to be stronger than this hero. But in any case, we are, um, our <laughs> victory condition is kill 80 aspirants. I don't know if that's going to happen. Probably will not. So uh, we're given uh, these are these are shop items that we can roll um, if we can afford them. We can afford this uh, arena footwear. What does it look like? Yeah, it looks cool. There's actually quite a lot of like gear in this game. There's a lot. Of, there's a huge variety of weapons. Um, they all have kind of stats and stuff. They all feel pretty good. They don't really have a lot of um, variety in terms of like how you use them. You kind of use them all the same. But uh, for the most part, I, I, I think that the the like amount of gear that this game has is pretty impressive. As far as I know, the game claims that uh, it only has the one developer. I find that very hard to believe, but I, I will take it at face value. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and roll with this, and we're going to go into our battle menu. We're given a choice of uh, usually three, although uh, if we get enough fame, we can unlock a fourth uh, option for our uh, for <laughs> combat. And some of these gets pretty insane. Uh, there's there's all, usually a 1v1, um, but then there's like these pit fights that's like one, you know, what is this? 3v3v3v3v3. Three, three v3, 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 v3. So that's like just a ridiculous number of people. And then this is 1v1, v1, 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 v1. Um, so again, a lot, like every man for themselves, seven teams, quite a lot. Add two allies to your side requires Entourage Scalo upgrade. I'm sure I'm gonna pronounce Scala wrong. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. You feel free to let me know in the comments uh, how I am supposed to um, pronounce it. But anyway, this is gonna give us a reward of 800 fame, 2000 gold. That sounds fine. Um, we can spend some fame to reveal some of the extra mysteries of this one, but for now it's a level one and I'm just gonna jump into that. Now I will say the combat, um, it kind of, I don't know. I don't want to be mean, but it pretends to be um, inaccessible. I think it is actually pretty accessible. There is a there's a couple of nuanced things that you can get, um, you know, uh, learn for sure. Uh, I, I, for instance, I'm not exactly sure how to like throw weapons. That's a really difficult thing. So like throwing spears is uh, really difficult. I wish I could. Oh, there we go. I want I want my camera to act like it should. Um, in a way, it's not that dissimilar from like a Dark Souls, but um, there's a, there's a couple differences. Oh, I don't know if I took major damage. Oh no, I that took uh, all of my stamina. So you know we're basically what we're doing is we're dragging, we're clicking and dragging the mouse in order to set a swing up. 
Uh, the only confusing thing is the direction that you're uh, pointing in. Like, if I'm pointing um, southeast, let's just use that cardinal directions. Why not? That is the direction you're winding up, not the direction you're going to swing in. Um, personally, I thought that the other way would feel a little bit more natural. And we're also um, trying to defend against attack. So I can right click here and and I, you want to try to basically like aim for their for their weapon because they're winding up their weapon. So if they're winding up an attack for your like, you know, left flank, whatever, then you want to like try and defend left, left flank. So generally you want to kind of aim for their weapon when you're defending. So I see that their right flank is undefended. So I'm going to try and wind up a couple of strikes for their right flank. All right, blocked. Oh, he did another another one. All right, all right. Now there's another one is I can click and that'll do like a stab. And that's good for uh, kind of stunning. We killed that lad. There's a there's other things going on here is, uh, you know, you want to you don't want to just like hide run away. You don't want to be um, unsportsmanlike because you're actually trying to impress the crowd the more you impress the crowd the more money you'll make the more fame you'll make um and generally speaking it's just a good idea uh you're also trying to impress uh, a few like important figures i don't know if that's gonna happen for your first fight but certainly your second or third um, each fight is kind of like sponsored by certain important figures and they all have different attitudes and they all have different ways of like looking at combat and so you want to uh kind of appease them in different ways sometimes just like how which combats you take is going to make them happy and some will make some of them unhappy did i get a double kill there no that would have been nice hello lad oh he threw his weapon at me what a what a dude Oh, that was good. Try and uh, get a stab. Oh, you were disarmed. Okay, I want to... Oh, no. No. You can kick as well. I'm trying to pick up my weapon. It's not easy. Oh, God. The one thing I'm not... Uh, I find is a little bit difficult is picking up the weapon. Kick. 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 There we go. There we go. Not enough stamina. Well, at least we have a weapon. We're not completely out to lunch right now. I broke his shield. Nice. Oof. He almost got me there. Ah, yes. Oh, I got him right in the head. Um, the longer you wind up a an attack, the stronger it's going to be, but also the more stamina you're going to use. And it is pretty, like, um, analog, like, in the sense that, like, it really is, like, the longer you hold it. There isn't, like, increments of how long you hold it. It's, it's, uh, a pretty, like, one-to-one -one in terms of, like, um, how long you're holding it. You can do a bunch of, uh, con you know, consecutive jabs, and that will be good, too. Wear your opponent down, and sometimes even kill them, apparently kind of want to pick up this weapon i can't remember how to yeah okay it's e to pick up and then we want to click it oh yeah the scimitar is probably going to be nicer so we're not fighting right now therefore the audience is very unimpressed with us we definitely want to increase our stamina when we get the chance there we go our fame is back to square one I think this is the last dude. Oh God, he th I threw it. Oh, there we go. Is that, uh, is that it? Yes, victory. Just a level one combat, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to uh, get through that. But all the same, we did have to fight through quite a lot of lads, so. We got five kills, only 75 more to go. So these are these uh, the, the hosts that um, we're trying to work, work up favor with. You can see we've we uh, really uh, we, we lost six favor six percent favor with three hosts and gain um, eight percent with one. So it might be at at a certain point like we either want to try and like build those guys up again or uh, just kind of like double triple down on the one that we like. 
we got some extra a uh, fame reward that's good um we're gonna want to spend some of that in order to train our our uh, scalo rank up rank two blood fodder so i can either get a free reward i think this is a free um sword or uh plus 0 0.5 to all skills for all for all next characters so here is your uh meta progression it's really not that like big but um you know i guess for me personally i'm gonna want to rather take rewards that affect this run rather than feature runs i do appreciate that it, it is an option your first visit to the physician is free color uh covered by your scalo uh, go to the career menu and visit the physician under the utility tab so uh yeah we we get to recover for for free we're still not at max health though i i see um you descend after the last match and sit down to rest you and remove your weapons when someone nervously approaches you i am i am i'm the biggest fan after your last performance i just had to slip by the gate guards and meet you please take the this fa family heirloom it may not be much but i want you to have it the fan removes a rugged cloth sheet to reveal a round shield accepts this gift you gain round shield cool uh, we are using a two-handed weapon i don't know where that round shield goes we don't really have a extra slot for it um so i don't know maybe it just kind of disappears into the ether let's look at our utility menu this is where we're going to do a bunch of stuff like for instance recover our health um as you see it is free i guess that means that uh, it was letting me know that it was free so we're going to go ahead and do that so we've recovered up to 97 health you do have to spend a little bit of money between rounds to recover your health that means like the less damage you take the better and the less it's going to cost you overall then there is durability on your weapons and uh, equipment pieces you probably aren't going to worry about this too much at least not in the beginning because um you're probably going to be replacing your equipment at a pretty brisk pace so it's not a not a big deal and then um the one i like to look at is the shop owner will scrounge together oh no not not this um the scalo is uh, where we can upgrade our characters like actual um uh abilities but let's see here fundraise we can fundraise and this will earn us some more fame if we want or expect more money maybe oh yeah okay so we can spend fame for money or we can spend money for fame and then we can bribe attempt to bribe to bribe a patron to increase your favor you may assess your care chances so there's you can see there's a lot of extra depth between rounds in the kind of like uh, resting period which i really appreciate now here's some like um really interesting stuff these are like permanent upgrades obviously uh stuff like this is gonna make a big deal blacksmiths repairs uh plus 50 percent durability again maybe for the mid game um healing price is reduced uh significantly less chance for ordinary tier items to appear in the shop this only costs fame good to know we could probably grab that the thing is though is that um the <laughs> the extraordinary items are going to cost more so we shouldn't really do this until we know we can afford to buy those items um gain plus one favor with each patron after every battle that seems really good unionize don't let them hear you say that um okay so here's the part i i care about for now to train you must own training gear purchased below each training costumes gear depending on intensity um okay so what we want to do is actually we want to go to the armory and we want to see if we can get a new weapon actually it doesn't look like it so if we can't get a new weapon i was hoping we could maybe uh get a sword or so oh, we have this okay sorry we do have this daka the daka is pretty good one-handed sword damage 12. this toothed hoe is uh 22 damage but it is two-handed so let's switch to the bronze daca and then we're gonna go ahead and sell the toothed hoe just just for the sake of it just for fun i guess that round shield really is gone uh and then what we're gonna do is we're going to upgrade our character's uh ability to use one-handed swords and I'm also going to upgrade their ability to use shields because eventually we are going to want a shield. And then we're going to do um, intense. This We're going to make this an intense one. And so it's going to tell us you don't have enough training gear to train with this week. 
This week's or training will require five training gear. So what we have to do is purchase five of those. One, two, three, four, or five. And we'll gain 1.4, or sorry, 4.4 uh, skill and 200, 240% one-handed sword skill learning rate. Um, so we can see like that'll mean hopefully uh, the more we use swords with our character, the more they will uh, become proficient with it. So that's all pretty good. It's it seems like an intimidating menu, but it's actually pretty accessible once you've uh, taken the time to read through um, a bit of it. So now what we're gonna do is um, we're going to jump into another mission i could check out these other ones but i like this 2v2 um you can definitely use your uh, a friend to the best of your advantage so we got we got some shield skill and we got some sword shield it was short sword shield some some sword skill my goodness i mean i gotta say i really love the look of this game it's like it is pretty on a graphical level um, but it also does have a style like it doesn't really compromise um, It doesn't uh, it doesn't just like Completely lean on, on graphical fidelity, but at the same time um, it, it has that graphical fidelity, you know This guy is using a frying pan. I love the frying pan If that's a cast iron, I'm in real trouble He's gonna make some pancakes my dude. Listen. I hope that's seasoned is all I'm saying. I hope I hope you're not ruining the seasoning on that on that cast iron. Also, your mom's gonna be pissed if she finds out you're using that. Ugh. Nice, nice, good, good hits, good hits. I like that. Also, you can defend with the like. You're not useless if you don't have a shield. The shield is good, and it'll certainly uh, help you out. But it's not um, the end of the world if you don't have one and you can still block without one. In fact, you can block very well without one. Oh, I'm going for that. Oh. He picked up a training sword. I guess he decided that mom's cast iron was not going to do it. I find in this, uh, I mean, my, my, my teammate is clothed to, uh, indicate that they're my friend. Like, they got the yellow clothes. But hitting tab to, oh god, I think I just hit my friend. Um, to, to lock on the enemies is a really good thing. F to, uh, to kick someone is great, especially when they have a shield. Because it can really, um, just kind of stun them. Oof, right in the neck, dude. Get him, friend. Get him. Oh, come on. He picked up the frying pan. Mom's frying pan is really coming in in the clutch. And like, I, I think that the combat is messy in this game, but I kind of like that. Like it does, it, it feels legit. It doesn't feel cool. It's got its cool moments for sure. Like you can chop someone's head off and it'll do a slow-mo thing. Uh oh, I'm not I'm not making my the audience happy right now. Come on. My my teammate is really just not helping right now. You can fake out, by the way, which is kind of fun. There we go. Oh, I chopped him in half. Hope you didn't need that torso, my dude. The audience likes that. <laughs> yeah, there's there's quite a bit of um, like little things you can learn and you can get better than what I'm showing off. I'm kind of treating the game like a blunt instrument right now uh, and and just kind of like looking for openings and, and taking my windows when I when I see them. Oh, my God. Is that a straw hat? Yo, don't make me do it. An old scarred man clad in wealthy, colorful cloth visits the Scala with his entourage. He's clearly taken a liking to you upon investigating your Scala and its aspirants. 
Uh, the boss and his lackeys approach you and give you give an offer you can't refuse. Listen, kid, you left a good impression on your last fight. My family has a good sense for these things. Take this coin, get some equipment or care, and do well. You'll, well it'll be a win-win. You make money, I make money. Coin is coin, no matter the origin. It gives me a better chance to survive. So, that is a straw hat. Um... Is it better than what we're wearing? Armor 6%, armor 4%? No, it isn't. But you know what? The One Piece does exist. All right, listen. I, I, whatever. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Small Arnate Ankos. And I can afford it. Let's buy that. And now we have a shield. And it's a nice shield, too. We can buy um, more of these slots to improve uh things let's why don't we go ahead and do that and i'll unlock another slot um you can also lock these if you like a weapon that you've revealed um you can uh you can lock it for the for a little bit of cost of your fame um also i don't think i'm like revealing these i think that just it just means that these are new uh weapons or armor pieces that i have never seen before so that might be what that is Let's go ahead and um, heal our... Oh, I don't have enough money to heal. That was a mistake. Oof. Oopsie. Um, we'll need five training uh, training gear. Can we... We can't do... I guess we... No, we can't do three... Like a, a very low or calm session. So I'm going to have to, we're going to, we're going to have to do a combat to recover some of our funds. That's my bad. 1v1 level 3 bracket. We could do that. Luck of the draw. Let's do it. Two battle. I don't know if many versus one means that I'm going to be fighting a bunch of people, but at the very least, I don't know if uh, I want to take the risk on, on one versus many. Where's my weapon? All aspirants go into battle without weapons. Uh-oh. Oh, he got an axe, too. I'm trying to pick up that whatever it is, but it's not happening. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, we've got a sword. Nice. He's got a... He's got... Oh, f He's got a torch as well. Oh, he got the swipe before I did. You can do a kick, sort of the kick thing while you have a shield. Whoa, was he like completely stunned there? Nice. Well, that was that was easy enough. Got some money. We can uh, recover a little bit more. We're getting a lot of favor with Maza. Hopefully that's good for us. I uh, I have to assume that you do not want to like completely piss off the other hosts. And um, I think at a certain like depending it really depends on which uh, battles you 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 take on. Throwing skill. I'm not a huge fan of throwing skill because I don't know how to do that very well. To all plus 100 fame to all next characters. Sure, we'll take a bit of meta progression. The city of Tarantia has been called upon to deliver weapons and armor to the Imperial War effort. This week there is a shortage on all equipment, causing prices to increase. Shop costs are increased by 50%. The Imper Imperial War takes precedent over many uh, any entertainment, so be it. War is hell for my pouch of coin. I must do all I can. Donate all your equipment to the, the war. Alright. Well, that's fine. We don't necessarily need to buy anything. Let's have a look at some, some of these new equipment. This is a large straw hat. Oh my god. How can I not? We'll sell the old one. Um, and we will... Oh, check this out. This is a military... Militia helm. This is a large leather Terentian shield. Leather... Lebra uh, leg wrap. That's pretty expensive for a leg wrap. Let's go ahead and recover our health, first of all. And then we'll spend the rest on um, improving our, our stats a bit more. 
So we're going to need five training gear for this. We should be able to afford that. Uh, maybe we could do make it a bit more intensive. Sure. We'll gain a more one handed sword skill and more shield skill. Sounds good. Now, uh, I would like to get some pauldrons, but we'll, we'll keep rolling with this for now. We'll definitely want to get some better armor soon. So, um, here's, we should, what we should be doing is let's reveal some of this stuff. Uh, this, I'm not sure what we're revealing yet. Use sub, subterfuge and influence to reveal information about this fight. Oh, okay. Well, what, what we care about is, uh, what host we're impressing. So this one will be degrading our, our reputation with Valerius, right? So that's not necessarily good. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Sorry, that, that tells us how much reputation we have with Valerius. The host is Valerius, uh, meaning we'll actually gain some reputation with them. Um, so that's good. We can spend a bit more to find out. So this one's also Valerius, and this one is a wild card. What does a wild card mean? The bracket or match type, the game rules of this match. Well, I'd like to, I'd like to know what that what it means. Um, many versus many is sounding pretty good. That's a level four bracket. One versus one, but this is Alora. Not that there's anything wrong with Alora. We could use some reputation with them as well. Um. Let's try this wild card. We got some more uh, sword and shield skill. Our dude is looking pretty hype. You can turn the auto cam cam off, by the way. I, I just noticed, and um, but I, I kind of like it. I think it works. Oh, he got me good. Got him on the wind up. Ah, he's getting me good. I'm trying to fake him out a bit. He's 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 got it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Get him. Got him. He's got that uh <laughs> Oh, I thought I I thought he was dead. He's got the Mad Max helmet and it's it's kind of working for him it's very intimidating there we go i don't know what i chopped off from him but he's dead very nice got some money recovered some health a strange ailment has stricken the city it seems many tarantians have turned a slight shade of purple all Scala physicians have been called to aid the populace by imperial decree. No physician will be available this week unless some strings are pulled. Uh, donate a thousand to people in need. Spend 1,000 to arrange for personal physicians this week. Yeah, let's do that. Use some of your gravitas with your Scala to arrange for a private physician this week. Who thinks all this is overblown anyway? You gain access to a physician again this week. Nice. We've got new uh, armor and stuff. Ah, we can get some pauldrons. I wouldn't mind getting some pauldrons. Um, but then we can't upgrade our, our abilities. At least not a lot. I like these greaves, actually. Let's, uh, let's buy these greaves. We might want to uh, consider getting a, some better, uh, a better weapon soon enough. Is this an iron greave? No, this is a Hanian, Hanian plate. Oh, we, we're not actually equipping them yet. Wait, are we? Oh, okay. So this is a Hanian plate greaves left. 
So we, we would want to get the, the matching shoe. Uh, very strange that you can have like mismatched uh, shoes, but I kind of dig it. Um, double crescent shield is really cool. I kind of want to, what I'd like to do is actually hold that for buying it next week. And what we're going to do is, uh, well, we're definitely going to improve our health. Uh, again, I'd love to improve our, our skill. That's generally what I like to um, focus on, but it's not a big deal if we can't do it. Reveal, we could reveal all. I'm sure that's cost effective, but this is a level four bracket. We're looking at many versus many. You get a little bit of information on each, uh, but not like the level. So we could reveal a little bit. This is Aloris, who we still are not on good terms with. Let's do this level four because we'll get some more Valerius rep. I'd like to do some betting maybe on the next, uh, in the next combat. You keep whatever weapon or shield you exit the arena with. All your equipments, your ability will be maintained during this match. That's kind of nice. No way they're going to drop some armor for me though. I might pick up a new weapon though. Let me see actually what uh, how do we where are the key bindings um rebind keys let's see here cycle target dash oh i forgot about dash cheer force stab is left alt force overhead is con left control these are things i forgot about and should remember about um but where is like drop weapon pick up weapon i guess these are things i i should find out you should like definitely do the tutorial i did the tutorial but i i did it a while ago so we can force a okay there we go enforce stab that's an overhead so you do you just like hold the button down and click This guy's got to uh, got a Kaido club. I, I actually really like that club. Oh God, he cornered me. Get back up, bub. Back up. Did I just disarm him? I want that club. Oh, he picked it up again. Oh, that was that was nasty. That that was a very good hit. Oh. Nice overhead. People are not impressed with me right now. I need to I need to break his shield. Oh, that was a good moment. They're 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 booing me. Are they saying boo or boo earns? Ouch. I don't know. This guy's got got some chops. Overhead is working. The overhead is working. Oh god. I'm actually getting some hits in on that. If I can break his helmet, maybe that'll work. Ooh. Oh, I thought I defended against that. Man, this guy's tough. Nice. That was a good hit. Oh god, oh god. No. Okay, that was good. Oh. 
Oh. Yes, that shield is finally get down. He picked up another one. What a jerk. I need more stamina. Oh. This could be it. Oh. No! No! Damn, that guy was tough. I had to break through two shields. So he survived five weeks. Rank unproven. Nine kills. I almost made it to, <laughs> I only needed 71 more kills. Um, total damage dealt. So um, I'm gonna leave it there. Whoa, your aspirant ran into a problem and needs to restart. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. There's uh, tons and tons more to discover in this game There's a lot of really fun stuff in this game, and I I really like it. I like the combat I like the like it gets really intense and uh, I, I just I I'm I'm kind of there for it I love all of the different variety of like weapons and armor and stuff. Is it all like valuable? They have stats, but like does it really mean much? Um, to me, I mean, like, at, at the end of the day, it's it's all about landing those hits. So, I mean, maybe it does. But um, I think that uh, maybe some of this depth kind of falls on, you know, falls flat a little bit. Like, it just, it just kind of, like, I don't know if it contributes much to the game. Um, I think it's, like, at the end of the day, what's important is maybe training up your abilities a little bit. But even then, I'm not sure what that's actually doing, if I'm being honest. Like... Does that make me swing harder? Does that make me do more damage? What is that actually doing for me? Um, you know, I'd like to, like there's a lot of stuff you can do. I like, you know, I wanna play some bets, see if I can maybe um, get some more money that way. Uh, there's a lot of ways to play this. It kind of, um, in a really weird way, it kind of reminds me of um, Hammerfall, Hammer Fight. It does actually kind of remind me of Hammer Fight because it's a little bit more of a physics-based battler. Um, and, and the way you kind of interact with your arena is, is similar in some ways, but I know that's, that's a comparison that no one's really gonna, um, maybe relate to, but anyway, uh, this was we who are about to die and it's a fantastic game. I really like it. Uh, if you have played it, let me know in the comments, tell me what you think of it. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.